Welcome back to Entrepreneurial Edge, everybody, and let's talk about business. Today, we're diving into the fascinating and honestly kind of sad story of how eBay, once a behemoth in the e-commerce world, seemed to lose its edge. I mean, think about it. eBay was around before Amazon. They had this whole online auction thing going on and everything. So what happened? We'll be covering that and more in this video. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content like this. Let's rewind to 1995. The internet was a new frontier. Pierre Omidyar had a crazy idea. Create a website to buy and sell anything. Not just new stuff, but used stuff too. He built Auction Web, hosted on his personal website, ebay.com. One of the first things sold, a broken laser pointer, and someone actually bought it. So, Auction Web, or eBay as we know it, started gaining traction. People loved the idea of buying and selling directly from each other, cutting out the middleman. And the fact that there weren't a ton of rules in the beginning? Well, that just added to the whole Wild West vibe of the platform. You could find some pretty crazy stuff on there. By 1996, eBay was exploding. I'm talking millions of users and tons of transactions happening every single day. That's when Pierre realized, hey, I can actually make some serious money off of this. So, he started charging small commissions on each sale and boom, eBay's primary revenue model was born. By 1998, eBay was huge, but still a scrappy startup. They needed serious business chops. Enter Meg Whitman. Meg Whitman was a seasoned executive from Hasbro and Procter & Gamble. She brought in much needed structure. She got rid of controversial product categories and launched a massive marketing campaign. In September 1998, eBay had its IPO. The stock price skyrocketed from $18 to over $53. With Meg Whitman at the helm, eBay went on a shopping spree, acquiring companies left and right. They wanted to be the one-stop shop for everything you could possibly want to buy online. One of their smartest moves was acquiring PayPal in 2002 for a cool $1.5 billion. Back then, people were still wary of putting their credit card information online, but PayPal provided a safe and easy way to pay for things online. It was a match made in e-commerce heaven. They also bought Skype in 2005 for a whopping $2.6 billion. The idea was to integrate Skype into eBay, so buyers and sellers could communicate directly. But this acquisition didn't really pan out as they hoped. Skype was eventually sold to Microsoft in 2011 at a loss. The Amazon threat emerges. Now, while eBay was busy expanding its empire, a little company called Amazon was quietly building its own e-commerce dominance. See, Amazon was all about convenience. They offered things like free shipping, easy returns, and a massive selection of products, all at competitive prices. eBay, on the other hand, was still heavily reliant on its auction format, which could be time-consuming and, let's be honest, a little bit clunky. In 2008, eBay's leadership recognized the threat Amazon posed and tried to pivot the company to compete more directly. They launched their own version of Buy It Now to rival Amazon's instant purchasing, but it was too little, too late. The breakup, eBay and PayPal. Go their separate ways. By the 2010s, eBay was facing some serious challenges. Their growth had slowed and activist investor Carl Icahn was putting pressure on the company to make some big changes. Many believed that eBay was holding PayPal back and that the two companies would be more valuable as separate entities. And you know what? They were right. In 2015, eBay announced that it would be spinning off PayPal into its own publicly traded company. The split was a huge success for PayPal, which saw its stock price skyrocket in the years that followed. eBay, however, continued to struggle. eBay today can the once giant survive? So where does eBay stand today? Well, it's still a major player in the e-commerce space, but it's a shadow of its former self. Amazon has become the undisputed king of online retail, and eBay has struggled to keep up. 
They're still known for their auctions, of course, but that's not really enough to compete in today's market. They've tried to innovate, launching things like eBay guaranteed delivery to compete with Amazon Prime, but nothing seems to be moving the needle. So can eBay turn things around? It's hard to say. They need to find a way to differentiate themselves from Amazon and offer something unique that customers can't get anywhere else. Otherwise, they risk becoming the next misspace, a once dominant platform that's now a distant memory. Thanks for sticking with me today as we explored the roller coaster ride that is eBay's history. It's a cautionary tale of a company that was once at the forefront of innovation, but ultimately failed to adapt to the changing e commerce landscape. So, what do you think eBay needs to do to stay relevant in today's market? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into the world of business and entrepreneurship. Until next time, take care and stay hungry for success.